hands on him a little bit. Nothing too aggressive, but just, you know.
can actually pick up deadheads in Colorado, so I'm gonna mark this. It'll be a little camp art, get us motivated. So I'm gonna mark it on the Onyx map. Well, you know the saying, one man's junk is another man's treasure. <laughs> Our Kansas friends were camped right here. We just happened to pass through on the way to hunt. And look, they left all their leftover perishables. Dude, we are getting hash browns for breakfast. <laughs> we got potatoes and onion. So, our buddies from Kansas and Ohio, thank you guys so much. I wish you would have just dropped these off at our camp, but we found your stash, so thanks again. We're gonna eat like kings, dude. <laughs> oh man, how funny is that? You got a pile of bread too, and eggs. We might be snaking some eggs. Too bad they let the pepper jack cheese out of the package, because I would have I'd have loved some pepper jack. A bear is going to find this and be super happy. But we're going to raid it first before the bears can. And then we're going to go cook breakfast. Funny, huh? All right, guys. Camp update. We are leaving camp. As you can see, we're set up in this nice little valley. Um, and this is Matt's setup, by the way. He's got my Sally decoy. I named her Sally years ago. And then he just built this to where the camera can be right on top. And honestly... It's genius. This thing could either make or break us depending on the situation. Um, but it's just a cow decoy. 
hopefully if we get in the right situation it can just hold up a bull or keep a bull interested long enough for me to get a shot this morning through the thick brush it either i don't know it could have been a good thing or a bad thing but it almost seemed like the elk saw it sat there long enough staring at it kind of lost interest and turned around but he didn't spook that we know of i mean i never heard him tear out of there so we're gonna hunt up the canyon again and get to the top of this canyon with the thermals going up and then we're gonna hunt down and try to pull some of these bulls out of the canyon tops but ah oh, man close calls should have been with matt that one day now all we can do is keep going but it's hot long days and makes for boring days didn't sit the water hole just because we're getting into the action on the ground so that's the plan if we can call them in trick them <laughs> let's go Just uh, kind of holding tight right here. Off this edge is where we had some elk this morning, so we're hoping that they pull out on top tonight, but you never know they're elk. They could be here one day and go on the next, so we're just gonna sit tight, just listen. But man, they're not piping off, so. I don't know what else to do. We just kind of move and call and move and call. So far that's worked the best, but tonight we're, we've got nothing so far. Got a wind coming right in our face. This is where we left the elk, so like I said, hopefully they pop up, up here to feed. But uh, yeah, that's elk hunting. You'd think it'd be crazy, it's September, what, 17th? <sighs> Should be fire. It's just too hot. <clears throat> I feel for all the guys. With limited entry tags in Utah this year, if this is what they're dealing with, it's tough. Well, another another slow night. Didn't see or hear an elk tonight. Wait, we saw those calves. Got all those dang things. Those two calves running around up there, just on their own, and they're not. <laughs> I wish a bull would be as dumb as they are. But just want to say thanks for watching the first um, part one, I guess, of Colorado Archery Up. It's been tough, but this tag goes till the end of the month, I believe. And I don't have anything else going on in September. I'm not sure if we'll have to pull out and go home and re regroup, but I definitely don't want to eat tag soup on this hunt. And the elk rut should get better, you would think, but you can see we got clear skies and a big old moon, so we'll be patient. All it takes is one. Matt was a perfect example of that, calling in that big bull. We just need that to happen again. We're gonna eat some hot dogs now. Brats, I should say, these are not hot dogs. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to uh, part two of Colorado. Um, we got clear skies, sun's trying to come up, and I'm just racing to my uh, tree saddle today. We've been having a little luck on the ground, just kind of running and gunning, but they're so quiet and it's so hot, I figured we're gonna give them a rest where we've been chasing them. We put some pressure on them, so. Colorado over-the-counter archery hunt and uh, with these hot temps I figured might as well go sit the tree saddle so I'm working my way up there we're gonna send Matt on a recon mission which usually leads to Matt getting an elk so it's always a it's always a challenge like what do I do I mean they, these things gotta come to water 
at some point is so freaking hot. Sorry, trying to use a flashlight. Anyways, I'm gonna climb to the saddle. I'll see you guys when I get up there. I'm gonna sit till about noon, and Matt is gonna go search out another canyon and do some scouting, so wish him luck. I bet he at least gets into some bugles, and if he does, we'll at least have somewhere to go tonight. So. Oh. Let's go guys, round two in Colorado. Well, we're in the tree. Elk or no elk, this is one cool way to catch a sunrise. Look at this. Sit in the same wallow. <clears throat> it's been so hot, guys. Something's got to show up here sooner or later. I'm going to put a trail camera on it when I get down. But that 10 to 11 time frame. They're getting hot. Especially if they're running around all night looking for cows and whatnot, so. Here we go, I'm gonna get the GoPro on and let's do this. Might have to do this out of the tree saddle twice this year.
I thought that was gonna be a done deal, guys. These elk, I could hear them coming down. And when they got like right here, I thought they were deer. And then uh, I got a good look at them. Could see it was a cow, elk, and a calf. <clears throat> I can still hear something above them. So I'm like, ooh, it's gonna be a bull. It was a bull, but it was just a spike, so. Let him walk. I like to get a mature bull if I can. But that was pretty sweet. They're only 14 yards down there in the corner of that. So that's all it takes, man. Just one shooter to come in down to this water and I'll get a good shot at him. So got some video on the GoPro. Hopefully you captured it. It's about 9.20. I'm going to wait here till about noon. So we're still in the game. All right, guys, Eric and I split up again. He's still sitting water this morning. I did a big loop in a completely new canyon. And uh, I found three new wallows. And I got this bull screaming. A cow called like twice and he is just screaming. So I basically ran out of the top of the canyon. And I'm just sitting up on top of the canyon now. Haven't made a noise. I have good wind and he's still bugling. He's bugled nine or 10 times. So now I don't know whether to go back to camp. Eric said he would meet me at camp at noon. Or if I should walk up to the tree saddle where Eric's sitting and get him to come down and chase this bull. That is just ripping. I don't know what to do. Well, it's noon now and I'm headed back to camp. I told Matt I'd see him there at like 12.15. So, excited to get back to see what his morning was like and let him know I saw some elk. So, we'll get down here, reconnect, regroup, eat some breakfast and do it all again tonight. Heard some bugles, but they were a long, long ways away. So, back to camp we go. Hey guys, it's about 3 p.m. and uh, we got some cloud cover finally. It's a little hit and miss, but it definitely cooled down and sprinkled for a minute. So, we're putting an early start in for the evening hunt. Headed into this canyon where Matt heard some bugles this morning. It's quite a ways below my uh, tree saddle and water hole. Um, but we're just gonna go slow, chirp a cow call here and there and just see if we can get something going. We'll see. The uh, next couple days are supposed to be a little bit of a cold snap, so if not tonight, hopefully the cooler weather will get these things going a little bit. But tonight we're gonna run and gun. Got the bow, got the decoy. And uh, yeah, let's go see if we can turn up. storm rolling in. Ooh, it's gonna hit. I think a second one is gonna hit. Come on. We got lightning hitting just right around us. Not a peep for the elk. Dang. We wanted a cold snap. I think we're gonna get it. <laughs>
getting good. Shit could pop. A lot of good bedding right here, huh? I want to get drenched. I don't have rain gear. I'm gonna try it out. Early dinner, guys. It's literally prime time right now. And we got rained out. You can hear it hitting the tent. It's pretty windy. Um, we jumped two bulls on our little hike. I'm guessing they were probably bedded, just hit, uh, holding tight for the storm. But we're back at the tent, got all our stuff kind of cleared up. We got a few leaks, but we're trying to do our best. Um, Matt's gonna have chicken, Alfredo, pasta. And I'm gonna try this, my uh, buddy, Chad Money Mendez. This is his elk ragu pasta. I haven't even tried it yet, I'm a bad friend. So we're gonna cook these early dinner, hang out, um, kind of try to build a game plan for tomorrow. But with this weather, as soon as it blows out, I think it will be epic. Like, could be the days we're waiting for. We'll just have to see if it blows out tonight and tomorrow morning is decent, or if it just continues to storm, but when it does, it's gonna be fun. One day hot, the next day not. We're learning a pattern. If it's good in one day, you had your chance. Move on. <laughs> nah, there's, there's elk that live down in this canyon, but we heard like three bugles down in here this morning, but nothing since, so we're just gonna hold tight and see if they start talking. Sun's coming up, it's cooler. We got some overcast clouds coming over. <clears throat> you would think it'd be a perfect day to call elk, but they don't want to play. So I'm just going to be patient and see if once they start moving to bedding, they might start talking a little more. Eat a snack. All right, guys, we've just been sitting here eating a snack. There's a bull below us bugling. This is kind of right in the general area where Matt left him yesterday, so we're gonna. That's another one. Yeah. We're gonna go get on him. Matt's on the calls. His cow calls seem to sucker him in. So sorry, I'm just like listening to everything. We're gonna get down here and see if we can get a play on this bull.
lane that just looked like they'd come up, they could come up anywhere. Well, these elk are on the other side of this giant canyon. There's two hunters that have been playing this herd too, and the one group of hunters sounds like they're in a perfect spot, and these elk are moving right to them. So, good luck to those guys. We're just soaking wet, need to climb out of this hole. There was a bugle right here, but we're not sure what it was or if it was on our side or not for sure. So we got a bushwhack out of here, drenched. But we're still in the game. There's elk on this side, they're just not as vocal. But that is what you call the mob. There's elk scattered through here, but that was a majority of the cows, the biggest herd bull, and probably three or four small bulls. And they're just moving out of our life, way across this dark canyon. That's hunting, we just gotta keep keep switching up our spots and we'll run into her like that. Well, we're back to camp, guys. We had the action we've been waiting for. 
Unfortunately, it was on the other side of the canyon, which trust me, if it was a normal canyon, we'd be over there right now. But this thing is like straight down and then ledgy. I'm not sure if we can get across it or not, but the bulls were bugling when we left. They had slowed down a little bit, but we got in on one little bull, close call on him, too thick. So I think we're gonna try to dry up a little bit, see what happens this afternoon. Eat some potatoes and onions, thanks Kansas crew. And we're gonna try another canyon tonight. And hopefully they're popping off everywhere like that because that's kind of what we've been waiting for. Bugle Fest. We made it. It's supposed to be cool today, cooler tomorrow, and then it shoots back up to 70s. So if they're, we're probably going to be running gun hunting for the next day and a half, two days. And then middays I'll still go sit the water once it warms up. But we'll get it done. Well, it is 4.09 p.m. Matt and I are loaded up for the p.m. hunt and Matt is actually pulling out of here tonight so here's the game plan we are gonna hunt tonight and then the conclusion of the night hunt we will both pack out to the pickup truck we're gonna take the pickup truck to town um, Matt's wife's gonna pick him up tomorrow in town so he can head home regroup gather his stuff and he's gonna go connect with BMAC Casey and Logan in Idaho and I'm gonna do <laughs> what I love to do the most would have loved to kill a bull with Matt here but um, which we could tonight but I'm gonna come back and hunt solo for the next however many days I need to we have 11 more days 10 and a half 11 days to hunt so the weather's gonna be cool today and tomorrow and I think maybe the next day starts to actually warm up again. And if that's the case, I'll run and gun when it's good and when they're calling. And I'll sit my water hole tree saddle set up, honestly, like the entire day just to increase my odds. Really want to kill a bull on this tag. I don't know, there's something about getting a tag getting your butt whooped and just not wanting to give up so i don't want to give up um, but i would do need to take matt to town so that's the game plan now but where we're going tonight is where matt called in that six point and with a little luck he's still up there with his cows and maybe with this cooler weather he'll be a little more vocal hopefully we can trick that bull one more time that'd be so cool that area is so perfect for filming and to call bull in. And heck, I've been here seven days with Eric and it would suck to leave and then just the next day, I know I'll get a text, bull down, <laughs> the second I'm gone, which would be awesome. But I wanna be here, we've both been grinding and I wanna be here for the kill and the help pack them out, but we're running low on time. I gotta bounce to Idaho, film a couple hunts. So uh, tonight, hopefully we can make it Let's happen. Let's tonight, dude. Let's go. We're just cruising up this uh, old horse trail. And right here, you can see an elk came off this ridge and right onto the trail. You can see his tracks going up, the same direction we're going. So just like where we came from this morning, there's at least some random bulls just kind of cruising. That's what we're really trying to find is those herd bulls, they're fun to chase. And Matt had a perfect opportunity at the one. But if we can find one who's just cruising, looking for cows, Maybe this one uh, might be a little easier to call in, but I don't know if it gets any easier than what Matt did. So it's always good to know. These are all fresh. After a fresh rainstorm, you can always count on tracks. Um, they don't lie. So as we just cruise around, we're always paying attention to stuff like this. So when you're out hunting, especially after a rainstorm, but anytime in general, keep an eye out for fresh sign. They're close. You know you're getting in the zone when you pull the bow off. Right on top is where Matt called in the bull and we've also had another close encounter with probably the same bull. So it's time to uh, get the bow off the pack and maybe start making some calls, really light calls. It's super windy. Um, last night it was like this and then a storm blew in so hopefully tonight calms down right before dark and 
they'll be moving. It's a windstorm, so don't have the highest of hopes tonight. The game's not over, but I'm gonna throw this deadhead on my backpack and take it to the truck because we're only about a half a mile from the truck. You can take deadheads in Colorado, so that's kind of cool. Colorado raghorn. We made it back to the truck. And I'll tell you what, it's uh, nice and quiet in here compared to that wind. We gave it a an effort, not a great effort, but whoa, look at this. Yeah, that wind is just howling, knocking down all kinds of stuff. Dude, I'm gonna get pinstripes on the baby blue. Not today. <laughs> uh, but I said, we gave it an effort. I packed out that little deadhead for fun. So it's back at the jumping jack. Like I said, we're gonna take Matt to town. Um, so we're gonna end, I don't know, part two of this little journey tonight. And I'll pick it up, you know, either tomorrow morning, bright and early, or I'll sleep in and get some rest. And then I'll be back in the midday. So thanks for watching. Colorado, uh, over the counter archery elk hunt. I'll be back. I've got the vlog camera, two GoPros, extra batteries, whole nine yards, and uh, about 10 days left to do it so i think i can get it done if i'm patient if i take advantage of the calls when they're calling and just sit all day on water because it is going to heat up again like i said but yeah thanks for watching guys subscribe to the channel get for all our merch and we'll see you on the next video